uppercut, uppercut, sonic boom! Well, hello there, human tippies, earthlings, if you are, where, if you are, whatever you're doing, if you're lucky enough indeed to be doing it too. Welcome back to Channel I'm Bushka, and today we're going to be talking about final circles. This is a topic I get asked a lot about, particularly how do I actually get there and win? Because I keep getting to the final circle area and they're just getting doused. Uh, and we're going to talk about big things, big ticket items here, like entry into the final circle, how you make that, uh, when you should push, when you should pull back, all that kind of thing. I'm going to show you three different final circles. And this this first one here, I'm actually going to show you, uh, we're just going to have a little chat here while I talk to you about it. Uh, I'm going to show you the minimap enlarged enormously on the top right hand side of the screen. And you'll see how I am going to move very much with the edge of the blue. Now, I've talked about this before, surfing in the blue, uh, staying short-sighted on the circle, and it allows you to clear out. Now, I'm going to clear two targets here who are having like a little bit of a, a gunfight. There's a guy right on top of the mountain, and there's this guy who's trying to get up to him. Uh, and this this allows me to be pretty certain that there is no one left on my side of the map. And that means that as we move in through crater fields, we're going to hug the very, very left edge of the circle and kind of run in uh, on the blue. There's another bloke up the top of the mountain here, and you're going to see me be very evasive, very elusive, ducking, weaving, left, right, up, down, because we've only got a level two helmet. Uh, I'm really worried that he's going to have... We get a body shot. We really need a head shot. Please give me a head shot. Thanks very much. Now we're going to move up, and I'm going to speed this up. Now watch how top right corner of the screen, the entry here, right? I'm going to do a whole lot of looking around, constantly looking at the minimap. See how often I'm pulling this minimap out? I'm planning this push in to be on the very short side of the edge of the circle so that I can see anyone down here on my left and that I can also keep an eyeball on everyone else up on the right. Then we heal up. And rather than go back through the middle, again, we're running the very, very left edge. Then when I get down here, I'm going to run this gully where you can see there's a wall along the left side. There's all the structures on my right. I'm running this gully. I'm staying short-sighted on the circle until we get to the ridge line right up here where all the action is happening. And then I'm going to start ascending the ridge but not going to just run through the middle of it. I'm staying as far on the left edge of the circle as I can. Now, this is called surfing in the blue. I did a video on this long ago, and now I'm just kind of looking for targets. Oh, I love a little bit of a hill glitch. That's great. Glad I gave my position away for that deadly shot. And lo and behold, this is why you do it. You surf the edge of the blue because people pop in front of you, and you can be pretty certain that there's only that direction that you've got to worry about. And all the action is happening around here. And I'm just keeping this little bit of ridge line between me and the bad guys. And I'm very, very happy to let them dominate each other in whatever manner they see fit that keeps them happy and healthy. I'm always looking behind me, but it's late phases. Like, these are late phase circles. Anyone still behind me is a dead a dead sausage. That's, that's not happening. Lovely, lovely miss there, Bushka. Excellent. You see the play zone just took another guy out. They're having all the gunfights. The play zone's got two people. These are guys that have rotated incorrectly into the circle, that have left themselves with no options. I often do that, but when I really focus in, you find yourselves in these kind of situations where you're moving in on the very edge of the circle again. And you'll, you'll see me doing this all the time when I'm actually engaged. And now I've got to make a decision. Do I try and cover this little bit of open ground uh, to get to the peak? Or do I actually wait here and see if they fight? There's only three people left. I'm pretty sure one of them is down there. I saw a smoke earlier in that compound. So I actually want to get the high peak ground here. I'm really worried about the guy that's cleared everyone else up. And we are going to have to have a gunfight. That's all the, there is to it. This is where you're going to see the great Australian ping. Watch the desync on this bloke. Oh yeah, all over the place. Lovely. Lovely, 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 lovely. Drop shot, stand up, drop shot, happy days, die. And then the rest of it is is very straightforward. We just wait up here and we take the advantage that we've earned and we use it to get the win. Like I, I, I find it very interesting when I watch back the games that I'm successful in. This kind of key performance indicators are right there. They're the things that mark a good game. Like communication is one huge thing and if you start communicating correctly like in squads like instead of just going watch out or he's over there like say like second story blue building right window or tree 195 like these are the kind of things that will make you a better player and make you win more games but when you don't get the opportunity say for instance like this game here where i got stuck in a gunfight and um 
in Pachinki and ended up then having to fight out here at these uh, barns. And so coming into the circle, there's people between me and the final circle and I'm kind of stuck on this ridge line. Now, I get lucky. They actually, the guys up here end up having a gunfight and you're going to hear as I come in. Now, this is a huge indicator, but I'm still going to go in absolutely on the edge of the circle. Like, I hear that there's someone there. So I know, and I'm looking left, and I see a box on the ground right. It's going to be a snake there. Crush the tree. Oh, there's someone else coming in who's read my uh, book on getting into the top end of the circles. And then I'm looking over here to the guy who... There he is. Guy who was in the grass. And that's boom. Two kills, because we went to the right place in the circle. We now have an overview. We're inside. And even though there's someone firing at us... We're very quick on our meds. We've got our car parked up right in the tree, so it's like our own little fort. And voila, um, good circle management just makes your life a whole lot easier. We're able to jump in the car, keep the tree between me and the bad guy, and push down here to the rock where I'm not sure, but I think he's down here somewhere. And he is actually just down here on the other side of the rock. There's three people left in the circle. I put a smoke out to my left. Why? Well, because... That's where the last guy probably is. He's probably rotating in from the north section of the map. I already covered off that top area. Uh, I didn't get shot at when I was already up the top. I'm guessing he's up like there, somewhere up there. So I smoke it so that he can't just shoot me through the smoke comfortably. And then I look straight ahead to where I'm expecting to see the person who was shooting me from the, uh, what is that? That's the dead north. Oh, there he is. I miss it. Dismiss my shot. Unfortunate, but I was looking around. Always looking behind is very, very cool because I saw the... This is a habit you'll get into, but when the zone starts rotating in, late game, look at the zone. Look at the circle as it's rotating in. It'll flush anyone that's been snaking in the grass and is really passive straight towards you. I don't know how he was still alive after that molly. I feel like that was a really strong molly. I don't know, maybe he was already standing on the rock. And this guy just isn't coming out. Like, he's got to have taken damage from one of these grants. Yeah, eventually. So, I'm still expecting there to be someone up there. I don't know what's going on, why they haven't had a crack at me yet. And I come over here, go to smoke the box. And the guy finally decides to have a run at me. Uh, but it's all too late. Like, now it's just a 1v1, which is... I'm really comfortable with any 1v1s. There he is. Happy days. Gonna look at one more. And this is a cracker of a cracker of a final circle. And I think you'll really enjoy this. And I don't know if you will really, but I enjoyed it. Like, and it's because this is that the circle is the most dangerous thing at the end. Like the circle is absolutely the most dangerous thing at the end of the game. Like if you can use a circle properly to your advantage, you can get huge benefits from it. Oh, <laughs> our hello AWM. So I shot him in the level three helmet. And he shot me in the guts and nearly cleared my level two vets. Like, took all of it. And I was like, you know what? I'm just going to let you do you. <laughs> Over there, we've got three seconds left. We're going to run the edge of this circle. Now, this is pretty straightforward. You've been, I've been doing this all day. I'm not, not like, I can't win the game by having a gunfight with that dude right now. I'm going to leave him alone. Always grab some extra meds when you get this late in the game. It's never going to hurt. And look to see if you can catch this guy rotating in. There is someone on my left. There is another guy in the grass at the top of the hill. I am going to get third party by everyone to side here. And then the guy at the top of the hill gets shot by a guy lying down in the grass. There's the green smoke. And I'm like, well, I can't see my guy. And then the other guy's gone to the play zone because he was just, there you go, green smoke. I just saw the green smoke up behind that tree. Where is this last person? And why I find this so much fun, this final circle, is... The circle is the enemy, right? You can make the circle do all the work for you, then you're going to be really, really happy. You, you don't really want to get the kill. If you have to, you'll get it, but you just want to win the game, right? There he is. He's rotating in. I'm going to throw some smokes out right in front of me here. Now, he's going to aggressively push, and I'm going to let him because I'm outside the circle. The smart play from him would be to stand behind that rock and then push up, but I'm going to smoke out. And he kind of freaks out and makes a horrible decision here. And I just leave him. I'm like, you're pushing outside the circle. Thanks very much. I'm going to push inside the circle. And that's the ball game. <laughs> I love this. This to me is everything that I love about PUBG Mobile. This is just 100% outplaying this poor bloke. Where he's tried to be aggressive and have a gunfight. And I've just said, okay, you can have that area there. 
I'm not gonna lie in the grass. I'm just gonna be inside the circle here. I'm so sorry. <laughs> just there you go. That's PUBG Mobile. I love it. Look after yourselves, boys and girls. Uh, and as always, oh please subscribe. And as always, stay safe on the battlefield. Bye for now.